हेलो फ्रेंड्स नमस्ते एंड वेलकम टू रमेश नॉलेज इंडेक्स आई एम कार्तिक झा हेयर एंड टुडे आई एम बैक विथ अ फ्रेश टॉपिक ऑन मैथमेटिक्स डिग्री ऑफ पॉलिनोमियल आई गेस मोस्ट ऑफ यू नो वॉट इज अ पॉलिनोमियल बट इन दिस सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू हाउ टू फाइंड डिग्री ऑफ अ पॉलिनोमियल एज क्विकली एज पॉसिबल इफ यू नो दिस ट्रिक then you can find degree of any polynomial within seconds so without wasting time let us get started so first before before finding the degree of a polynomial let us understand what is a polynomial polynomial is an algebraic expression what is an algebraic expression i think you have a better idea algebraic expression is something which contain which consists of both variable as well as constant variable and constant when i use the term constant it refers to numerals numerals like 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 numerals okay an algebraic expression contains both variables and constant constant is something which has value fixed value and variable which does not have a fixed value okay so an algebraic expression contains both constant and variable an example of a uh, algebraic expression is 3x plus 2y here 3 and 2 are the constants they have a constant value they have a fixed value whereas x and y are variables we don't know what is their value it could be 1 it could be 2 it could be 3 it could be anything so these are variables so i i guess you you are clear with what is an algebraic expression so now an algebraic expression the power of whose variable is a whole number is known as polynomial See every polynomial is a algebraic expression every polynomial is an algebraic expression but every algebraic expression is not a polynomial every algebraic expression is not a polynomial and one such example of an algebraic expression which is not a polynomial is this 2x power minus 3 plus 2y z square minus 3x power 1 by 2 now y is why this is not a polynomial let us understand here we have three terms i guess you know what are terms terms are something which make up an algebraic expression individually if you split an algebraic expression based on their signs you get a term here there are three terms plus 2x minus uh, plus 2x to the power minus 3 plus 2y z square minus 3x to the power uh, 1 by 2 this is one term this is the second term and this is the third term you must always take a term along with its sign okay that's why minus 3x to the power 1 by 2 so now why is it not a polynomial here the power of the variable is minus 3 i told you the power of the variable should be a whole number isn't it so is minus 3 a whole number no it is an integer so it is not a polynomial and even see here here the power of x is 1 by 2 1 by 2 is a fraction it is not a whole number okay and it can be uh, said to be a rational number but not a whole number got it so this is the reason why this is not a polynomial i guess now you can clearly understand Uh, the difference between algebraic expression and polynomial basically all polynomials are algebraic expressions but all algebraic expressions are not polynomials let us go further now what is degree of a polynomial the highest power of the variable in a polynomial is known as the degree of the polynomial let let us uh, understand this clearly using an example there is a polynomial that is given to us let us say it is 5x cube plus 6 minus 2x to the power 21 here check it out where check out whether this is a polynomial 
yes it is a polynomial so here we have three terms 5x cube 6 and minus 2x square minus 2x to the power 21 correct yeah so now split it out split it, it split it out into three different terms what are the three different terms 5x cube 6 and minus 2 x power 21 correct now find what is the power of the variable in each term the power of the variable in the first term that is 5x cube is 3 in the second term there is no variable so the degree is 0 so the power power is the degree of the term okay in if you take one term the power of that term is equal to the degree of that term okay okay so here uh, the power of the variable uh, the power of the term 5x cube is 3 6 is 0 and 2x power 21 is 21 now among these three powers among these three powers which is the highest which is the greatest yes it is absolutely 21 so the degree of the polynomial 5x cube plus 6 minus 2x to power to the power 21 is not thing else than 21 okay so the highest power of the variable in a polynomial is known as its degree so let let us start with numerals my first question is find the degree of the polynomial py which is equal to y plus 1 into y plus 3 try out this problem and when you are ready keep watching for the solution see try to expand this polynomial try multiplying y plus 1 in to y plus 3 when you multiply y plus 1 to y plus 3 you will multiply y to y then y to 3 then 1 to y and then 1 to 3 correct in this way isn't it and then what answer you'll get y square plus 4y plus 3 I think you multiplied it and you got this answer isn't it check it out whether the answer is correct or not so here the power of the variable in the first term is 2 correct in the second term it's 1 and in the third term there's no variable so we'll take the power as 0 correct and thus which is the greatest power 2 so the degree of the polynomial is nothing else than 2 next now here there's one thing one keynote that is to be noted that if we are given a, given two expressions two uh, let us assume they are two uh, polynomials and we are said we should multiply them and then find their degree then there is one shortcut trick that we can follow and what is that we can find the degree of each and each polynomial okay there will be three uh, there will be three polynomials then find the degree of each and every polynomial and then after that add them and then you are you will get the degree of the product of that polynomial let us understand this better using one example a question is given to us that we are to find the degree of a polynomial y plus 1 into y plus 3 this is the same this is same as the previous question so we know what is the degree of the polynomial it is 2 okay so now <coughs> let us find it using the shortcut trick what does that say it says that we must find the degree of one polynomial these are two different polynomials y plus 1 is one polynomial y plus 3 is another polynomial okay now find the degree of this polynomial and then find the degree of this polynomial now whatever you get as degree add, the add them both and then you will get the degree of the whole polynomial after multiplying it after multiplying it what we got y square plus 4y 
प्लस थ्री इज इंट इट करेक्ट सो हेयर वी गॉट द डिग्री एज टू सो वी कैन फाइंड द डिग्री ऑफ वाई स्क्वायर प्लस फोर वाई प्लस थ्री विदाउट इवन एक्सपैंडिंग इट विदाउट मल्टीप्लाइंग दिस बोथ वी कैन गेट इट्स डिग्री जस्ट बाय फाइंडिंग द डिग्री ऑफ इंडिविजुअल पॉलिडोमियल वॉट इज द डिग्री ऑफ वाई प्लस वन इट इज वन इज इंट इट बिकॉज हेयर वाई हैज द डिग्री वन एंड वन वन हैज नो वेरिएबल सो इट इज जीरो सो द डिग्री ऑफ द पॉलिनोमियल इज वन एंड हेयर वॉट इज द डिग्री ऑफ द पॉलिनोमियल हेयर ऑल्सो इट इज वन करेक्ट सो नाउ एट द बोथ एट दम बोथ वन प्लस वन दैट इज टू सो द डिग्री ऑफ द पॉलिनोमियल विच इज ओपटेन्ड आफ्टर मल्टीप्लाइंग वाई प्लस वन एंड वाई प्लस थ्री इज नथिंग एल्स दैन टू लेट एस मूव ऑन नाउ लेट एस ट्राई टू फाइंड डिग्री ऑफ पॉलिनोमियल विच हैव मल्टीपल वेरिएबल्स टिल नाउ वी लुक इन टू डिग्री ऑफ पॉलिनोमियल्स विथ वन वेरिएबल now we look into degree of polynomials with more than one variable for the degree of polynomials in multiple variables we must add the power of the variable of each term and the greatest among them will be the degree of the polynomial now let us understand this using an example it is given uh, to us that we have to find the degree of the polynomial x y square plus 3 z x square y plus 3 y square z minus 9 okay now split it out into terms this is one term this is another term this is another term and this one is another term minus 9 so x y square is one term 3 z x square y is another term then 3x power 5z is another term and minus 9 is another term okay so let us put it in table r form it comes out to be something like this xy square 3z x square y 3y power, 3x power 5z and minus 9 so now here we will add the power of the variables here in this case we have two variables x and y what is the power of x power of variable x it is 1 correct what is the power of variable y it is 2 now add them both you get 3 so the power of the whole term is 3 or you can say the degree of the term is 3 now here we have three variables z what is the power of z it is 1 what is the power of x it is 2 what is the power of y it is 1 So the power of this term is one plus two plus one. That is four. Fine. Here we have again two different uh, variables. That is x and z. What is the power of x? It is five. What is the power of z? It is one. Now add these both powers, and you get six. In the next term, we have minus nine. Here we have no variable, so the power of the variable is zero. now among them which is the highest power it is nothing none other than 6 so the degree of the polynomial of this polynomial which is very big one is nothing else than 6 fine simple isn't now let us practice some questions my first question to you on degree of polynomials of multiple variable is this find the degree of polynomial x plus y plus z a square into x z plus y a sorry i repeat the question it is x y plus z a square into x z plus y a pardon me for the mistake now try out this problem and if you are ready check out the solution See, let us try multiplying them both. We have to multiply x y plus z a square to x z plus y a. X y will be multiplied to x z, and then to y a, 
and then z a square will be multiplied to x z and y a correct now what answer we get is x square plus y x square y z plus x y square a plus z square a square x plus y z a cube correct here let us again let us again put let us again try finding the power of each term here this is one term this is another term this is another term and this one is also another term here what are the what is the power of this variable it is 2 which is the power of x 1 which is the power of y and z uh, 1 which is the power of z so 2 plus 1 plus 1 it's 4 so the power of this term is 4 similarly the power of this term is also 4 in the same way the power of this term is 5 and the power of this term is also 5 so among them which is greatest it is 5 so the answer to this question is 5 now even in this degree of polynomials with multiple variables we can use that shortcut trick which we used in the degree of polynomial with one variable okay let us understand this better with one more example now the question given to us is a bit different it is given that we have to find the degree of a polynomial x y square z plus 37 z square y square x cube plus 52 x y power uh, 5 z into x y z plus 3 x square y square z square plus 9 y power 4 x seriously I don't think you have an idea of multiplying them okay if you have <laughs> then go for it but a better way to do is approaching the shortcut trick now how come I solve this question in just one step that is adding 7 and 6 and we get the answer as 13 <laughs> but let me explain this to you in a better way so here we are going to find the degree of individual terms first we'll find the degree of this expression or this polynomial and then we'll find the degree of this polynomial okay here in this polynomial the degree of this term is what it is 4 the degree of this polynomial is 7 the degree of this polynomial is 7 so the degree of this whole polynomial is 7 the highest power correct the degree of this term in the second polynomial is 3 the degree of this term is 6 the degree of this term is 6 and the degree of this term is 5 so the degree of the second polynomial is 6 correct now add the degree of both the polynomials and you get the degree of the product and that is 30 I think you are clear with it now I have some questions for you and I would like you all to solve it and give me the answer in the comment box if possible write down the steps also okay so I have quite simple four questions for you I would like you all to note it down and solve them out and the first question you are given to find the degree of the polynomials the polynomial uh, polynomials are given to you and you have to find their degree in the second question it is asked what will be the degree of a polynomial which has five linear polynomial as its factors so let us assume we have one polynomial px okay and it the, it has five factors let us say qx rx rx gx yx and lx 
so all these are the factors of all these five polynomials qx rx gx yx lx are the factors of px and all these are linear linear means what the highest power of the variable in a poly when the highest power of a variable in a polynomial is 1 then it is said to be a linear polynomial I will explain about this separately if you want me to make a separate video on this you can demand me in the comment box I will make a separate video on this so you have to find the degree of px in this question okay the third question says what is the degree of a constant polynomial and the fourth question says what is the degree of a zero polynomial I think you are clear with it thank you so if you found this video to be useful please like share and subscribe and if you have any doubt regarding topic that I have covered you can ask me in the comment box thank you have a nice day